we have to get everybody speaking the same language. So what happens today? And let's be honest. Banks complain about SMEs, right? They don't pay their loans. They don't want to pay. Somebody say that's the reality of the ground. It is and it isn't, right? It is and it isn't. That's why I'm saying these things are complex, right? You can't ask a fisherman or a farmer, etc., to give you like you know 20 pages of documents um, and a mortgage, right? Or title to his land that he's been living on for the last mm -hmm. hundred years through his generations. But anyway. Then you get the SME saying, where I go to the bank, they ask me like, you know, 500 questions, even if I can get anybody. It goes on and on and on forever. And after six months, right, they send me an offer. And by that time, it's too late. Too late. Okay. But if we think about it, doesn't the bank want to make money? Doesn't the... SME, the local business, want to make money. Mm -hmm. So if we both want to make money, then we are united mm -hmm. in our view. Banks only make money. You have to remember this. Banks only make money if their customers are making money. Mm -hmm. So we are totally aligned. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that we're speaking different languages. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we're doing, and we've started about a year ago, is thanks to KFW and the World Bank. We're building the biggest, what we believe will be the biggest data center in terms of data for SMEs, banks, and also national databases. Mm. And we already have a lot of that in place. We have GRA, thank you very much. They've done a great job, DVLA, et cetera. Thank you.